So over 350 years ago, Robert Hooke discovered the single cell. He's a physicist and built and used a microscope to do this, which gave him new information to understand life in a new way through a new lens. We're going a level deeper. The molecules of life are in the cells, DNA, RNA, proteins, lipids, and we're looking in detail at their interactions. Dr. Leslie first approached Nikon about 10 years ago. She was looking for a very custom solution that wasn't already available in the marketplace. So that's something that Nikon loves to do is figure out all these different third-party modalities and ways to bring together a system that meets the researcher's needs. When I started my lab, the purpose from a physics perspective was to develop those next set of eyes at the single molecule level, but in cell-like conditions. So be able to look at many single molecules and their interactions, one at a time, untethered so they can explore their conformational or shape distributions. So we needed a way to confine those molecules so we can watch them for a long time. So CLICK is uh, an acronym for Convex Lens Induced Confinement. And this is a single molecule imaging platform. For CLICK, you take two pieces of glass and fix them together with a piece of double-sided tape to make a flow cell. And on the bottom piece of glass, you have an array of microfeatures, such as in my case, wells that are three micrometers wide, 500 nanometers deep. You put the sample in between the two pieces of glass, and then you mount it on a microscope. Then you compress down the sample using a convex lens until the top piece of glass comes into contact with the bottom piece of glass, trapping the molecules in the bits. So a single particle, single molecule, for example, DNA, RNA molecules can be confined at a singular level and track its trajectory in time. Allows to us to optimize the signal to noise ratio. With click, everything is, is pushed away and you only see the sample in your imaging plane. And then it opens again, uh, it mixes up, closes again, and then we have fresh particles looked at individual molecules again. And then it happens again and again and again. And then in a few hours, we have thousands and thousands of measurements. So what's unique is this is the first tether-free single molecule imaging platform, which allows us to look at many copies of single molecules and to follow their interactions and dynamics. I study DNA structure and how when DNA gets twisted up, its structure changes. Click allows us to look at these without tethering the molecules in any way. And since I want to know how twisting up the molecule changes its structure, if I tether it, that can change how it gets twisted, which can really alter the results. What we do is we take these vaccine formulations that consist of a lipid nanoparticle that contains these RNA uh, cargos, and then we introduce that treatment into a life cell. But also understanding uh, the mechanism of how these particles are formed, also how they are delivered into cells. Like you can use the same technique to follow the particles uh, into, into cells and see how they deliver the mRNA. Sabrina's approach is quite, it's quite it's a pretty novel approach and it really does allow us to you know, be much more precise in our characterization of these uh, lipid nanoparticles, which as you know, are now being used for many, many applications, vaccines being just one example. The growing trend in the biotech space and drug discovery is to not just look at you know one single molecule or one single compound, but to really scale up. So recently, Nikon has collaborated with us to install a robotic arm, which will allow us to dramatically increase our throughput, and that will be able to be compatible with industry needs down the line. Having one lab, one in the same lab, going from single particles and single molecules, all the way upscaling that to in cells, in vivo, in the well plates, that knowledge all within one lab, that is quite unique. And Dr. Leslie's technology and, and what it enables is really a leap forward in our ability to image and to visualize protein DNA interactions and, and macromolecule interactions. And I think it really exemplifies the kinds of research that we value and that we push forward here at the Michael Smith Laboratories. So like Robert Hooke, we're also pushing the limit with optics to look at untethered single macromolecules. And with partners like Nikon, we are excited to be rapidly advancing the field of genomic medicines to reshape healthcare and benefit everyone. <laughs>